In the last episode, we built a very simple Java app. It consisted of one class and no other dependencies. There were no tests. In reality, projects tend to have a little more complexity, so we're going to leave our simple Java project for now. Rather, we'll use an app that will teach you the basics of building for Bazel on iOS and Android. This is an app that has both a native Kotlin version and a native Swift version. Our task in the next series of episodes is to switch both of these apps from using their native build tools to using Bazel instead. This is going to take some time, so before we write our custom workspace and build files, let's take a walkthrough of these apps to see what we are working on. To get started, download the starter project for this episode. Open up the Bullseye iOS app in Xcode. This is an app written in Swift UI that contains a bunch of different views. Build and run the app. You'll see a slider. We have to slide the slider thumb to where we think the target number is located. The closer to the target number, the more points the player earns. It's a pretty simple game. Back to the app, while there are no dependencies, this iOS version of the app also comes with a few unit tests. So our goal is to get this to compile with Bazel as well as create a target that will run the unit tests. We're dealing with multiple source files, our info plist, as well as app resources like icons and so forth. Now, this is a Swift UI app. Bazel doesn't provide Swift or Kotlin support, but Bazel was designed from the ground up to be customizable and extendable. Bazel maintains scores of repositories that provide rules for compiling a vast wealth of languages and platforms maintained by the community. And if rules don't exist for a particular language, Bazel provides all the tools necessary for you to custom build them. So if you are working with a really niche language or tool set, you can get Bazel to work with it. Now let's open the Android version of the app in Android Studio. This is the same app, except it's a native Android app. Let's build and run. You'll see that it looks and behaves just like the iOS version of the app. Looking at the app code, you'll see that it is written with the Kotlin language. We'll import the Kotlin rules to get it to compile. Unlike the Swift version, this app does not contain any unit tests, but it does contain something the Swift version doesn't have, and that's dependencies. Open up the module build.gradle file, and you'll see that we have lots of dependencies that we need to include in order for this build to compile. Finally, you'll notice that these sample projects are contained in two different repositories. One of the advantages of working with Bazel is that instead of storing all this code in multiple repositories, we can store it all in one repository called a mono repo. To find out why we would actually do such a thing, meet me in the next episode.